All right, what we're looking at here is the high resolution signal on an oscilloscope. This is what it should look like. Nice and clean, five volt square wave, 50% duty cycle. You're feeding, you know, it's a five, there's five volts in there and it's pulling it, you know, when it sees those little slits whizzing around, it turns, it turns the circuit on and off. Watch what happens when I rev it. You'll see them get closer together. That's the way it should work. Uh, I'm gonna reset this and uh, real quick here, and hopefully my battery lasts on my camera, and um, I'll set this up to do uh, the low res, and you'll see how funky that looks. So give me a second here. adjust this for a longer time base so you can see uh, the different widths of the slots. I got some funky pattern here. I gotta clean up my ground here a little bit. Make sure I got a good connection. There we go, that's better. Whoop, don't move on the ground. Alright. There we go. Alright, that's your low res signal. Uh, there's different size slots on that disc and there's four of them and you can see each of them whizzing by there um, on my scope. That's what it looks like on a scope. That's why your voltage is like a uh, about a volt or so is because well you don't have as much on time compared to the high res signal. Um, this is the most accurate method to do this. I can see instantly if I got all my slots, if everything's doing what it's supposed to do in about 30 seconds with a scope. You're going to test an OptiSpark, this is the best way to do it. It's not the only way, but it's the best way. You know, is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. What's the signal look like? I can tell what the signal looks like, you know, in 30 seconds and tell you if that OptiSpark's good and bad. No guess. Now, obviously, you could still have a secondary cap issue, but as far as the primary goes and that sensor and the sensors, this is how to do it.